In today's video I'll be comparing attenuators. I play two Marshall Plexi amps, a 50 watt one and its 20 watt little brother and both of them are really loud so I use an attenuator to get the volume down. Now so far I have been using cheap attenuators and I felt like I might be missing out on something so I wanted to try two different ones and one is still rather cheap and the other is rather expensive. Since I figure everyone who's watching this already knows what an attenuator does, I will not be showcasing any reduced levels. That means that all the clips that you're hearing are actually normalized to be the same volume, so that we can hear what the volume reduction of the attenuators actually do to the sound. I'm also not going into bedroom friendly levels, I'm going more for a studio environment, which is about 9 decibels off. So that's a sound that doesn't clip a ribbon microphone. <coughs> In that comparison you heard all four of them. To me there are two clear standouts, especially hearing and playing them in the room. And those were the Holy Benton PA250 and the Fryette Power Station. My two old attenuators suck a bit of life and tone out of the amp. They sound a bit muffled and you actually feel like you have to play through them. I don't want to say the Holy Benton PA100 and the Bulgara PS1 are terrible, but they do alter your sound a bit more and I think especially the Bulgara PS1 smooshes your sound just a bit too much. This new Harley Benton attenuator was released at the end of last year and it has been really hard to find some reviews or videos about it. So I wanted to be the one who gets this thing going. Compared to its predecessor it really has a lot more to offer. You can actually bypass the unit and it retains more high end and has a more organic feel. Although I read some rumors online that the new PA250 is reactive, I couldn't find this anywhere on their website or in the manual. It doesn't even say if it's resistive or reactive and I couldn't get Toman to verify this. What they did tell me though is that they compared the PA250 to the Rivera Rock Crusher. But I can definitely tell it's an improvement over their old unit, the PA100. The Fryat power station costs almost 7 times as much as the Harley Benton and I think it almost weighs 7 times as much too. Now compared to the other attenuators I've been testing today this is a reactive attenuator. Or it's actually a power amp that reamps your signal. So it's quite different than the other ones. As opposed to Harley Benton Fryat is clear about the fact that the power station is reactive. And the fact that the power station is reactive should change the way this attenuator communicates with the head as well as the speaker cabinet. And you can definitely hear there's a difference between this one and the Harley Benton. <laughs>
And that last example you can hear how the Froyat power station actually changes the tone of my amp quite a bit. It doesn't sound bad at all, but it doesn't sound like my amp without an attenuator. I'll change the order around and you can hear how the Holly Benton actually sounds a bit closer to the amp without an attenuator. There is a way that I can make the Fryat power station sound more like the Harley Benton and that is by putting both toggle switches in the front to flat. But from what I've understood this makes the attenuator also a resistive load rather than reactive and in my opinion that defeats the purpose. Of course I've been playing around with all the options, the toggle switches and the knobs but this was the closest I could actually get to my sound. But one question remains, how does it sound in the mix? The first time I played both of these attenuators was actually last night. I started off with the Holly Benton and I was pleasantly surprised. The Fryette was a totally different animal but it felt and sounded great to play. But in the end I don't think the Fryette is for me. After I've heard it in a recording I don't like how it changes the high end of the sound. If you need a more flexible unit with various tools for tonal shaping, something that sounds good on really low volume, that has an effects loop and even has the option to power up a low wattage amp, I think that the Fryette power station is definitely a good way to go. But if you just want to shave off some decibels like me, I think that the Harley Benton is really a good pick. I suspect I might get some hate for this video because I know so many of you out there love the Fryette power station. And don't get me wrong. Because I'm not saying that you're wrong, I think the Fryat power station is great, but for my use and my purposes, I think it's a bit overpriced compared to the other options. Maybe I've been using it wrong, and if that's the case, let me know in the comments. And please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.